Hello everyone and welcome back to Introduction to Number Theory. In this uh, video uh, we will consider a linear Diophantine equation with three unknowns. Uh, we'll consider a certain example, you see it over here. Uh, how do we solve such equations? Uh, the first step is to find the smallest coefficient uh, among given. Well, we, we see 3, 5, and 11, or minus 11, doesn't matter. Uh, the smallest one of them is 3. This means that we should express the unknown, the variable, uh, which is besides this coefficient, uh, via other unknowns. So, x uh, is equal to 8 plus 11z minus 5y over 3. And now, uh, separate the integer part of this uh, fraction from its fractional part. It's, it will not be uh, the real integer part and the real fractional part, but some, what, some kind of an, algeb an algebraic integer and rational parts. For instance, uh, 8 divided by 3 is equal to uh, 2, and the remainder is also 2. But we can also say that it is 8 divided by 3 is almost equal to 3. So let's write 3 minus 1 over 3. Uh, we did this in order to, for this number to be the smallest possible. It will shorten the solution of the equation. Then 11 over 3. 11 over 3 is uh, almost 4. So we can write plus 4z uh, and minus z over 3 and uh, we have uh, minus 5 over 3 where we can also use the same trick and say that this is minus 2y uh, plus y over 3. So now Take the integer part and separate it from the fractional part. We have that x is equal to 3 plus 4z and minus 2y and plus minus 1 minus z and plus y over 3. Since this is an integer and x is also an integer, this fraction over here must also be integer. So we denote it, we use another letter <coughs> in order to uh, denote this fraction. Say that it is equal to t, x, y, z, t. So the next step is to take this equality and write it as a separate equation. Minus 1, minus z plus y is equal to 3t. It is another equation. Uh, here uh, uh, we can take this equation and uh, repeat the same procedure and gain another equation and another and another. And uh, we will stop when uh, one of the coefficients uh, will be equal to 1. We see that uh, in this equation two coefficients are equal to 1. So we can uh, right now go to the next step uh, 
and <coughs> express one of these variables, any one of them, using the other two. Well, let's take y. So y is equal to 3t plus z plus 1. Uh, notice that t is an integer and z is also an integer and for any integer t and z y will also be an integer. So this is a part of the answer, of the solution of the equation. All that is left is to express x through t and z. And we can do this by using uh, this expression here. So x is equal to uh, 3 plus 4z minus 2y and plus, well, actually, this will be more convenient to use, plus t. And now, since we know the expression for y via t and z, we can use it here, substitute, and then <coughs> x will be equal to 3 plus 4z minus, well, we need to do these calculations, minus 2 times 3t plus z plus 1 plus t. Of course, it would be more, more convenient if uh, you did uh, these calculations on your own and then just compare the results. But uh, since I uh, need to reach the result, I will do it on the board and therefore x is equal to 3 minus 2 which is 1 and 4z and minus 2z is plus 2z and minus 6t and plus t is well minus 5t So finally, we have an expression for x. Let me just check it. 3 minus 2, it's okay. 2 minus 2, uh, 4 minus 2 is 2, and minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. It is very important to check all your calculations uh, <coughs> in order to avoid mistakes. I always check my own calculations uh, in for every problem I solve, for every task I solve. Finally, this is the answer. Where z and t are arbitrary integer numbers. So we see that one linear Diophantine equation with three variables uh, has uh, an answer, a solution, uh, that depends on two independent variables. Well, that's quite logical because uh, it is uh, a space of, it's the space of solutions of a linear equation has dimension two. The only difference from uh, linear algebra is that here we deal with integers. So uh, we need such an expression that uh, give us integer values for x and y, that supply us with integer values of, for x and y, and z for any integer values of these parameters. So the equation and its solution.